The William Brewster Stiles Award for Business and Economics Reporting goes to Lou Kilzer, Andrew Conti, and Jim Wilhelm of the Pittsburgh Tribune Review for Shadow Economy. How would you like to set up your own offshore account or shell company? If you have several hundred dollars and a computer, the Pittsburgh Tribune Review can show you how to enter the murky world of finance that became the topic of Shadow Economy. Through interviews with top U.S. and international government agencies and the cultivation of confidential sources worldwide, Lou Kilzer and Andrew Conti discovered that more than half of the world's money passes almost undetected through a series of financial black holes. Holes that shelter it from not only the tax collector, but from shareholders, partners, and wives. During a year-long investigation, they explored legitimate and illegitimate uses of offshore accounts and shell companies. They documented the cost to U.S. citizens of wheeler dealers who gamed the system. They exposed talks to export the bulk of America's excess natural gas production overseas, where it will fetch far more money and avoid a U.S. tax bill in the billions. And they found that 20 of the 25 largest publicly traded companies in the U.S. have subsidiaries in countries that our government has identified as tax havens or financial secrecy jurisdictions. Edited by Jim Wilhelm, the series caused a buzz in the financial community, but not one challenge of its accuracy or findings. They made a very difficult, complex subject understandable. They made it relevant, they made it interesting, uh, and then they use creativity to create their own account and show you how easy it could be done. It told a story in a very approachable way. It took a really broad international issue, uh, tax sheltering, right, hiding money, and it took it to my next door neighbor who rolls into his garage and shuts the garage without getting out of the car and I don't know anything about him. I mean, it was really a ground level approach to a an international issue. J. Marvin Quinn, a director of the E.W. Scripps Company, will present the Scripps Howard Foundation's William Brewster Stiles Award in $10,000 to the Pittsburgh Tribune Review. Accepting is investigative reporter Andrew Conti. So it's really overwhelming to sit out here and listen to so many impressive journalistic pieces that have been presented tonight and to uh, know that we're, we're part of it. And uh, so I really want to thank the Scripps Howard Foundation for doing this and uh, for celebrating journalism at a time when it seems like it's really important. And uh, along those lines, uh, Jim and Lou and I really want to say how grateful we are to be at a newspaper, especially of our size, that continues to invest in investigative reporting. Uh, without agenda, without sacred cows, they send us out. Uh, this story didn't turn out exactly like we thought it would. It's not just the rich and powerful who are able to go and set up offshore banking accounts. It's anybody with $1,000. Lou and I did it, and uh, sadly, <laughs> perhaps sadly, now that we have some real money, Lou, we, we've already closed the accounts. So. <clears throat> if, and, and we didn't even go to Belize. <laughs> The, um, the other thing that surprised us about it was that the victims are so varied that it's uh, poor people in countries where uh, dictators with stolen wealth have uh, hidden their money. It's uh, ex-spouses, business partners, it's taxpayers, it's, it's all of us. We all pay for it. And the thing is that as it continues to grow and it seems to become more acceptable, it starts to become something that uh, erodes the entire system, and you only have to look as far as uh, the problems that uh, came up over the past year in, in Greece and Italy and Spain to see how important this is to all of us. So once again, we just want to say thank you, and uh, thank you for recognizing all the journalists tonight.